University of Moratua. Undisputedly the epitome of engineering education in Sri Lanka. Since its inception in 1972, it has grown in leaps and bounds due to the Herculean efforts rendered by its staff and students as one big family. The Faculty of Engineering boasts nine different disciplines with a student body exceeding 2,400 in four batches. The Department of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering, the pioneering academic and research facility of its class in Sri Lanka, enjoys a prominent place in the university as the most sought-after field of study for nearly two decades. At its advent as the Department of Electronic Engineering in 1969, its students followed the same curriculum as that of the Department of Electrical Engineering until the final year. It was only during the final year that they specialized on their respective fields of study under electronic engineering. The initial number counted no more than 10 students per year. The year 1972 brought a major improvement to the department where telecommunication was introduced as a field of specialization. Henceforth, the department was renamed as the Department of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering. However, the path which led the way towards the present level of excellence was swarming with obstacles. The turn of 1980 came with a few ominous signs. There was only one senior lecturer along with visiting lecturers from organizations like SLT and SLBC to cater the mounting needs of the student body. We must appreciate their enormous effort in keeping things afloat during the most daunting times because if it was not for them, you would not be even seeing this video. By 1990s, the department started undergoing a radical change where students were extracted from the second year to the department. A further new subject, optoelectronics, which was solely intended for its students was also introduced. 1992 was the year which sealed its due place as the department which offered the best curriculum of its kind in the island. But the best was yet to come. As a result of the goodwill the department gained due to the quality of the graduates it produced, the ties with the industrial sector were strengthened to a new extreme. The demand from the students to follow electronic and telecommunication as the preferred discipline was soaring into new heights. The new millennium brought the pinnacle of success to the department. As a result of collaboration between the Sri Lankan government and the Japanese government, the new building with state-of-the-art laboratory facilities which the department boasts today was declared open in 2003 which had the capacity to provide services to 300 students in total. The Department of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering, at this crucial milestone of its 40th anniversary, is really proud about the achievements it has gained and it is owed to all the academic and non-academic staff members and most of all the brilliant students it has produced for the betterment of the nation.
just illustrated were the rough seas the department had to sail through during the trying times. To elaborate and refresh your minds further on our footsteps in the sands of time, it would be most appropriate for a distinguished senior personality of the department to share his memories with you. He is none other than Professor K. K. Y. W. Pereira, the first head of the Department of Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering. The stairway to the present level of excellence and prestige has not indeed been a cakewalk. But we have grown in leaps and bounds due to the enormous efforts of our academic staff. The department now features nine fully equipped laboratories for undergraduates and two research laboratories sponsored by Dialog Telecom and Zone 24F7. It is eagerly awaiting to explore the new dimensions of cutting-edge trends in its respective field to cater the needs. Mankind is striving towards an era where it can deal with Mother Nature in the best way possible. Controlling the electron implies negotiating with nature for the betterment of mankind. With the advent of nanotechnology, biomedical engineering, artificial intelligence, robotics and wireless communication technologies, electronic engineers will definitely be transforming the world into a new dimension. Our department has clearly identified the need of the hour and it is ready to face the challenges of tomorrow with calculated measures to put the mark of Sri Lanka in the map of world electronics. We as the family of electronic and telecommunication engineering have the vision, have the power and have the confidence to go beyond imagination to fulfill our mission. With the proud legacy we had over the past four decades as the pioneers of electronic and telecommunication engineering, we are ready to take on tomorrow's challenge to put Sri Lanka on the map of world electronics. To present a more vivid image of the current status of the department, it would be more useful to listen to the captain who is presently at the helm. Let us invite the current head of the department, Dr. E.C. Kulasekar to enlighten us more about how the legacy continues.